Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to our guys. In this video, we are going to discuss what are user defined variables. Specifically, we'll see what will be global user defined variables. So, we have two types we can call user defined variables at the test plan globally, and also user defined variables we can create locally in a thread group. Okay, let us see what is the difference on that. For this video, we'll see global user defined variables. So now, let me now create the thread group. Let me right click on the test plan, add threads thread group. I can rename this thread group as local thread group one or local one thread group. Here I can add a sampler right click add sampler http request so let me now show you one basic request which is reqrs.in we have uh, the sample data which we can use in that so this is reqrs here we have list of users if you click on list of users this is the response we'll get if you click on single user we'll get another response this is the response for list users and this is the response for single user. And we'll copy this one. We'll paste it here. In the protocol, we'll give HTTPS. And in uh, the server, definitely we have to drink rqrs.in. And the HTTP path should, be come, should come from slash API. Usually, we paste it here. Now, let me add a sampler to show you the result. Add listener for listener view results tree. Let me now run this. I don't want to save it. No. Now you can see the request and the response is this one. How I can get the same response by having the path as a global variable. For that, guys, let me go to the HTTP request, copy this. Here you can set it. Go to the test plan, click on add, add PATH path here, paste this value here. Okay. Now go to HTTP request, add dollar. You can add flower bucket after that. Yeah. Inside that, add path. Now go to view results tree. You can, you can delete the results. Now run the view results tree. I don't want to save it. Now the request comes, the same request we have. This is the global variable of the user-defined variable. This is one way. Now we can say how we can define user-defined variable, but globally, for all the test group, local thread group, we can use this variable as path. But if you want to have local group user-defined variables, we can create inside a local thread group. We'll see in a other video. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.